Hello everyone and welcome to another Beamer Fix video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to check your disc brakes or rotors and your pads just to make sure that there's no excessive wear and that they're still safe to be used. Okay so everything you're going to need to check the condition of your front brakes on your car. You're going to ideally need to have the wheel of the car so we need to jack the car up so we need a jack and locking wheel nut if that's applicable to you. Torch to really help get in there and have a look at the condition of the discs uh, and the pads. Some gloves, wheel brace as well to get the uh, wheel nuts out and also we have a digital vernier gauge. Um, not an overly expensive one but uh, yeah ideally or deal for the job and also a couple of coins as well which I'll show you what they're for in a second. Okay so if you've never taken off um, a wheel before uh, once you've put your jack in the correct um, jacking point underneath the car before you actually jack the car up and lift the wheel off the floor just loosen the nuts first because what you'll find if you have the car jacked up and you start to try and loosen off the wheels you can put a lot of stress and strain on the jack and it's not very safe as well plus the wheel will spin as well so what we'll do is we'll just crack them off like that so literally you don't have to unwind them Break them loose, like that. Lock the wheel nut, bring that one there. Make sure that's uh, seated correctly. So the last thing you'll do is strip the teeth out of that. There we go. So once they've all been broken loose, then you can continue to jack the car up uh, and then remove the bolts properly and then remove the wheel. Okay, so Number one reason why we're checking the brakes is obviously safety for yourself, your passengers and everyone else on the road. The signs and symptoms that you have uh, bad brakes or the brakes are nearly worn out. You could have vibration when you're braking, uh, inefficiency in the braking itself. So you're having to use more effort in uh, braking. So on the brake pedal, you might find that the car's trying to pull over to one side as well, which could be an indication that one side's working better than the other. And also you could have uh, horrible scratching and screeching noises, which is probably a sign that either the pads is down to bare metal, which is obviously really, really bad news. Um, and sometimes the brake pads themselves have a wear indicator, which is a small metal tab that will come into contact with the rotor uh, and make a squealing, scratchy sound, which is obviously an uh, indication you need to change it. And also wear indicators as well. If your car's fitted with uh, brake pad wear indicators, you'll get a notification on the dash to say that the pads have worn down to um, an unsafe limit and they need to be changed out. Now, I don't have any of these symptoms. Uh, my reason for taking the wheel off and having a closer look is the lip on the actual rotor itself. I can see that it's worn down. So what we need to do, we need to uh, check the thickness of the disc, which is what we use our digital um, Vernier gauge for and a couple of coins and then we'll have a closer look at the pads themselves and then also what we'll do is we'll have a look at the manufacturer's wear indication warnings as well to see what the disc um, what its minimum wear depth is okay so looking at the thickness of the discs and making sure that they've not worn down too much you can have a feel with your fingers at the lips of the edge of the disc now I can feel that the lip on the inside edge here is a lot thicker or deeper than the outer it's not uncommon what you'll find is that's because the inside pad will come into contact a fraction quicker sooner than the outside so over time the inside edge gets um, more breaking than the the outside so you'll find that it'll wear slightly quicker so the best way to measure the thickness of your pad is with your digital vernier gauge um, now the first issue what you'll have especially if you've got a lip on your disc is the size of mine is that when you go to measure the disc the vernier gauge will come into contact with the lip of the disc before the actual friction um, plate side so the way to counteract that is by using two coins you could use anything um, you could use uh, washers or small nuts so with your two coins or your washers or whatever you're going to use you measure the thickness of these so I can see it the two coins put together these particular coins I'll give them actually give them a wiggle they are 3.4 millimeters wide so that's what we'll need to subtract from the final measurement so what we'll do is we'll put I'll try and do this so you can still see what I'm doing put a coin 
either side, making sure that the coin's not actually touching the lip and that they're below the lip. And making sure that your vernier gauge is on zero. And opening it up and then popping it on. And you're going to make sure that's on there. So I've got a reading there of 31.7. So what we'll do now is I will have a look. I believe that the original thickness of the disc is um, 30. Uh, one millimeters and the wear limit is 1.6 so what we'll do is we'll subtract the measurement of the coins from that measurement and then we'll see if oh, i need some new discs right okay so having a look at the numbers it does work out that these discs have worn uh, 2.7 millimeters over the width of the disc which means these are no good anymore um, like I said before, the wear limit on this particular car and model is 1.6 millimeters, so we're well below that. So these need to come off. I should be doing that very shortly, and I shall post a video hopefully next week when I do it in the week. Um, but yeah, when it comes to um, wear limits and everything, please check the manuals if you can. If you haven't got a manual, let me know. If you've got an E60 or an E61, let me know. Um, I've got a digital version. I'll be happy to send you any information that you need. Um, but if you actually want your own one, I can put a link in the description for this one. And the guys actually on online had uh, manuals for all makes and models. So I'll put a link in the description. You can have a look and see if you can pick out your car. Um, so, yeah, if you've had a look at your discs and they aren't worn below the limit, uh, then it's worth having a look at your pads as well. I'll check my pads just for the um, point of the exercise. Uh, but I do recommend if you ever change your discs, uh, you change your pads as well. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll have a look at the pads. Right, so checking your brake pads themselves. So on mine, here's your brake pad just here. Now the part where it steps down, uh, so there to the disc, this here all here is friction material, which is a design to be sacrificed uh, when braking. And the part you have just here is the actual uh, backing plate. Now that doesn't um, wear away and should never come into contact with the rotor. If it does, you'll know about it. Uh, one, it won't work um, and you will really lose braking and it will damage the rotors as well. This Again, this is why it's important to check, uh, especially if you do a lot of miles annually. Um, so you really want to kind of make sure that that's not worn below um, three or four millimeters. That would be definitely a sign of having a look and changing. Certainly want to change them if it's only a couple of millimeters. Um, and also you have the ones on the other side. Um, so you want to ideally make sure that they've worn evenly or you could end up uh, finding an issue with the caliper for example if it's sticking you might find that one pad is actually putting more pressure than the other like I was saying earlier that can cause uh, issues when it, you have a, a bigger lip on one side than the other um, so it's always best to check both sides and make sure they've, they've worn relatively evenly uh, which I have and mine have, so I haven't got any sticking calipers or anything. But yeah, it's always worth looking because you can find that one looks fine here, but if you look on the other side, you find that that's actually down to next to nothing. Um, so yeah, that, that's another issue that we can cover another day. Um, but yeah, it starts to rain here. Um, I'm going to get the wheel back on, um, which is obviously a reverse of taking it off. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions at all, please uh, ask away in the comments. I'd be happy to get back to um, everyone as quick as I can. Um, and again, if you've got any issues with uh, wear limits or dimensions or discs or anything like that, just um, send me a message or, or leave it in the comments and I'll help you out as best I can. Okay, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you very much to all my subscribers. Actually, I've actually gone over the um, 1,000 mark now, so which was a huge, huge thing for me, especially as being a small um, car YouTube channel. So really appreciate it, uh, and thank you very much. And so I will be changing out the brakes, and hopefully that will be the next video. So I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.